Can your police report from your accident be used as evidence in your car accident case? Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino. I'm a Northwest Indiana personal injury lawyer, and I would like to answer that question for you because it was recently asked of me. Here you go. So you need to understand uh, the difference between a pre-suit case or a case that is in court in litigation. So auto accident reports, crash reports, whatever you want to say, uh, law enforcement reports regarding an incident are typically good in the pre-suit stage when you're dealing with an insurance company and trying to negotiate a settlement. Typically, the insurance companies will review the accident report and most of the time they'll make a determination of liability based on the information within the accident report. Okay, so they can be useful. They can also uh, not be useful if there's inaccuracies in the police report because many times law enforcement won't change or fix the inaccuracies. Okay, so that is in the pre-suit context. No lawsuit. Now, once a lawsuit is filed, then you have to deal with the rules of evidence. And so, depending upon where you are, some parts of the accident report may be admissible, but most people argue that the crash report is inadmissible because the stuff that the other party wants to get in is inadmissible hearsay. Now, hearsay is an out-of-court statement that is made for the truth of the matter asserted. Now, typically, when a police officer comes to investigate the uh, case, they do not have any firsthand knowledge of the accident. So statements that are made by parties or statements that are made uh, by witnesses, uh, sometimes they can be used, sometimes they can't be used. If it's a statement of a party, if I said something and there's no immunity based on the state that you're in, then uh, if I say something and I'm the person who's bringing the lawsuit, then that would not be considered hearsay and it could potentially be used to impeach something that I say. However, if a witness says something, uh, that is inadmissible hearsay because that's an out-of-court statement that is being used for the truth of the matter. So the other side couldn't come in and say, witness W told the police officer that the light was green, pink, yellow, whatever. There's also a hearsay, um, it, there's also a hearsay exclusion for law enforcement reports, but typically that does not cover a car accident report. So in order to answer the question, we would need to know exactly what is being used from the police report. If it's going to use oral statements, you have to ask who is making the oral statement. However, if the police officer has some photos that are attached to the accident report that say these are photos of the scene, this is photos of the damage, blah, 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 those photos that which would be addended to the police report most likely will uh, be admissible. Also, even though the diagrams go ahead and say that they're uh, not to scale, there might be something in the diagram that might uh, a judge might allow into evidence just to set the stage for something. So uh, a bland, wholesale, lock, stock, and barrel accident reports, admissible? Not necessarily. Parts of it may be admissible? Yes. In a pre-suit case, if you want to argue your case to an insurance adjuster and the accident report's on your side, you shove that accident report down their throat and say, look at what the police officer said. They said your insured was at fault, blah, 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 blah. So there you have it regarding uh, accident reports and admissibility and how you can use them in your accident case. If you have any questions, you can always reach out to me. I am Guy DiMartino, meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a great day.